So typically the first thing that I'd like to do is to try to get a spot where it would kind of peel up. I'll just peel it back. Notice I'm not pulling up, I'm sliding it back. Typically, if you would feel any resistance or anything like that, you use some like C22 solvent that will help with that. I don't typically need it too much. I'm going to remove the glue off the system. Now, with uh, getting the glue off, I'll probably end up using some of my cotton balls, stick that on there for a little bit, make sure to get the edges. Normally whenever I take the glue off, I'll normally just douse it with uh, C22. I'll let it sit for like two minutes and then I'll run, on, run it under like warm water and then just kind of use my fingers to kind of peel back the edges all the way until I get to the middle and just pull the rest of the glue off. All right, so now that the cotton is uh, stuck to it, take the C22, spray on it. Let that sit for a couple of minutes. While that's doing that, I'll take a little bit of C2, C22 and uh, spray it on my scalp, just kind of remove any of the uh, leftover glue. Try to pick up any of that glue that's left over on my scalp. Get a little bit of stubble. So technically what I do, I just use a shaver. I knock it all down. It seems to work best for me. Uh, if it got any longer, I would use a trimmer. Kind of knock it down a little bit more before I use this. But I think I can get it without trimmer. What's good about this is I can kind of glide over my bio hair that's long enough and it's not going to cut anything. I just cut any of the stubble. <clears throat> All right. That's pretty much it with that part. I'm going to go shower, knock all this down. All right, got the glue off. Now what I'm doing is I'm kind of just washing it, getting any of the oils off and stuff like that. Make sure that there is no glue residue on it. And it looks pretty good. Take like a washcloth or something, pat it dry. Now what I want to do is I kind of want to just like brush it out. I really like these detangling brushes. They seem to do pretty well. I kind of like to comb everything back before I put the glue on. It's kind of like the hair just kind of stays out of the way for me. Got the system right here. I, I really like these domes when it comes to putting the glue on and then being able to kind of pick it back up to put it onto my head. Makes it a lot easier to apply that glue. Before I do that, I like to take some alcohol. Alcohol on a cotton ball. And I'm trying to get as much oil off as I can. So I have better adhesion with the uh, glue. I like using these uh, little makeup silicone brushes. Seems to be pretty good when it comes to applying the glue. I just put a decent amount in the center. I only use one coat. Some people use more. One seems to do the job for me. I can go a week, two weeks without having to reapply it. Try your best not to get the glue in the hair. If you do, not that big of a deal. I've seen people use dish soap 
that seems to get it out. Next up would be the uh, scalp protector. Typically, just kind of dab it on, uh, just brush it right after. Make sure I get my forehead pretty good. Like I said, you want the, uh, the hairline to not come up on you. I find that a lot of people have issues with that. All right, it is now clear. So what I typically like to do is I like to take a mirror and place it down right in front of me so I can kind of look down and guide where I want my hairline to sit and then try my best to uh, match up where this balding area is when it goes to placing it on. Right, and it is on. So what I like to do after that is I'll take a towel and place it over the top. Just kind of press it down with my hands. Get it sitting real nice. That's that. I like to kind of take this detangling brush, kind of comb it back. And it's, now it's just basically style. Style to your preference. All right, that's typically how I would style it. Turn around. All right, that's my install.